So on today's episode, we're going to be working on this Aaron's riding mower, which is basically an Orange Craftsman. It's the same thing. This one has the uh, the wonderful plastic transmission. It doesn't have the deck on it right now because one of the hangers broke, and that's going to be the main focus of the video today is welding the deck hanger back on. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about the steering issue on this. I'll show you in a second here. Uh, this has a 20 horsepower V-twin engine, and uh, this one starts right up and runs pretty good. So this is definitely a kind of tractor that you want to try to fix, and repairing the deck is not going to be a hard thing to do on this. So the front steering on these things, whether it's a Husqvarna, a Craftsman, or this orange Craftsman with an Aaron's label, you know, there's an emissions label on, under the seat, it says Husqvarna on it basically an AYP tractor. So I straightened the steering wheel, which has some play in it. But here you can see that front wheel is basically straight ahead. This front wheel is turned pretty far to the left. So it's towed out really, really bad. And um, I have a, a couple of theories as to what's going on here. But this is very common on this type of machine. One reason, because they have two steering arms. That steering arm goes out to the left wheel. Then it has another steering arm here that goes out to the right. And there's no adjustment for tow. So the problem is you start getting some wear and you end up with this. Now, when you're using this, you're not going to have just that one wheel sticking out in one direction. You're going to end up compensating and having them both out a little bit. So when you're driving this, you know, you'll have the right one out a little bit. You'll have the left one out. Somewhere like that, they'll, they'll even out. And, uh, you're going to be scuffing your tires and you're going to try to turn and it's not going to turn real well. So one thing that I think is a problem is uh, it, where this axle mounts, you start getting some play in there and the axle will start to lean backwards, especially if you start running into things. That axle is going to lean backwards and then this here is going to start being farther forward and it's going to make the wheels turn out and cause the alignment not to be right. The, the best way to fix this, as far as I know, is to shorten, you know, bend this rod here, you know, increase the angle on those bends to make that overall length shorter. That's not the ideal way. You have to figure out what changed. And looking in here, it sure looks like this axle is leaning backwards. So, uh, you know, you can maybe take a pipe wrench and, and try to twist it forward again and see what your alignment looks like. But as far as the alignment is out, you know, it looks like there's probably a couple things going on here. Now, maybe they really did run into something because the guard... The shield underneath the muffler is pretty mangled up and it's not attached to the frame anymore and at the rear. So it's very likely that, you know, they did some damage. It looks like the hood ran into something or got run into by something. Maybe a car tire, a truck tire. But, uh, yeah, when I got this, they stopped using it, they said, because of the deck wasn't going up and down anymore. So here we can see the deck. And this is a 46 inch deck the underneath i cleaned it a little bit and i cleaned a lot of grass out of the top here but overall the deck is actually in pretty good shape the wheels don't have a whole lot of wear but what happened was this bracket over here is still attached so you can see that they weld it just on one side they did like three stitch welds right there and it's welded on one side 
it would be nice if it was welded on this side. So the the overall problem here is that the the deck got fatigued. So right here is the bracket, and uh, the welds did not fail. They don't match the other side. That's one long weld there, and then you got one shorter weld right here. So the, the bracket shaped a little bit different than the other one. But the holes in the deck, that material is still attached to this bracket. So the welds actually held. But for some reason, some kind of forces were causing this to start to flex a little bit like that. And it just tore the metal right out of the deck. So I'm going to grind all this where I'm going to weld. I'm going to weld right where it was welded before. You know, right along both of those welds. But I'm also, also going to put some weld inside here. Now these lines here, they're just scratches. They're not cracks. There is a little bit of crack right here, though. Right in between those holes, it's cracked a little bit. But this is going to fit right back on here, just the way it belongs, especially once I grind it away a little bit. And we're going to weld that back together. And the welder I'm going to be using is a Chicago Electric Harbor Freight Special. Now, this is a MiG-170. This is 230 volts, 240 volts, it says right there, with a 20-amp draw. So out in my garage here i i ran 220 volts 240 so i can run some things like this i really put the voltage in so in case i wanted to run an air conditioner but that's not going to happen really and i'm using flux core wire i never got a bottle for this now right here's the plug that this comes with and this is a 6-50P. So you need a 6-50 receptacle to plug this into in your garage. Or you could put an outlet on the outside of your house or whatever. But uh, this welder does a pretty good job. Even being a flux core machine, the way it's set up, it, it actually works pretty well. All right, so we're going to start grinding the deck here a little bit. Now there you can see we got some nice clean metal to weld to. And over here, like I said, I'm going to go right over the other welds because they're still holding. And then we got this cleaned up real nice. I'm going to try and straighten that out a little bit. Take our little adjustment tool here. That seems to fit pretty good right there. So we'll get the welder cranked up here. So the settings I'm going to try on the welder are the min and max is going to be set to min, and the one two is going to be set to two, and the wire speeds around five. So I, I think with those settings that the welder is going to be like in the middle of what it can put out.
Well, it's on there. So judging by those tack welds, I'm going to make the welder a little hotter. We'll try it at max one. And I'll put a little bit on the back side here. See what it looks like. So here you can see, that's not too bad. Now if this was a gas MIG welder, obviously it would be better. The kind I use at work has a bottle on it, argon. And uh, yeah, it comes out better than that. Now I am going to weld this little gap right here, because right there is where the deck has a crack anyway. So I'm going to weld that shut. But otherwise... I'm pretty happy. It's not perfect there at the end. But it's pretty good coverage. It's going to hold for sure. So I'm going to weld that shut right there. Then we'll come around back here. It's dirty now from welding, but that's all clean metal there that I ground off. And I'll put some weld back here. So here you can see the inside. This side here came out pretty good once I did my second pass. This one here, I got a second pass on this. Yeah, it's not perfect. I'm not a professional welder. I'm sure you guys already are leaving comments, you professional welder guys. And that's fine. I'm not saying that, you know, this is a, what you would get at a welding shop. This is going to hold this bracket on just fine. So overall, this is a pretty good repair. I'm going to put some paint on here. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And then here's the other side. So yeah, there's, there's a little bit more weld on this than what there is on the, the factory one. Maybe that's better. You know, they have these robots set up just right. They know how much they have to put on. Now, on the beginning of this one here, you can see it got a lot of metal laying there. It doesn't look like a lot of penetration like it does back here. It looks better at the back. But, uh, you know, that, that one's still holding. But I think this one here is going to hold better. Plus, with having it welded on the back side. Now, how much more would it cost them to program the robot to put a pass on the backside before it gets painted? Would it really make that much of a difference? Or does it really not need to last that long? You know, may maybe, maybe it works out in their favor. You know, something breaks off. It looks like a fatal problem. The rest of the tractor still works. But uh, this here was enough for the customer to give up on it. This and 
the steering problem that they didn't mention, maybe they didn't realize they got used to it being bad. But I'm going to put some paint on there. And I'll give you another quick look at it. And like I said in the beginning, this video is mostly going to be about repairing this deck. And this welder, you could probably still get it with a coupon for under $200. The helmet that I use, I just bought this like last year. That's $50 or so. And a roll of wire, which the welder comes with wire, but I didn't care for the wire that came original. But for $250 and a grinder that you already have to sharpen your blades, this repair can be done. You know, if you, if you do uh, a little bit of maintenance on stuff, if you have some tools, this isn't a, rip, a hard thing to do. Not hard to practice how to weld. You watch a couple videos. This is not an instructional video on welding. This is just repairing a deck bracket. Good old-fashioned Rust-Oleum. These chip brushes, buy these by the box. This is a one-inch. So we'll spread this on here a little bit, and it may not ever rust even. Not as long as it's still in use. a little bit more to paint with all the wire brushing I did back here. Knock more paint off the back side. I'll put a little paint up top here. This bracket does actually have a number stamped in it right there. But I don't know that that would be the kind of number that would be on the website. Since this bracket's welded on, may not be available separate. I wouldn't be surprised that it wouldn't be available separate. All right, so here's what it looks like all done. That paint's going to get dull. It's not going to stay shiny like that. But uh, except for all the, the splatter from the flux core wire, that came out pretty good, especially when it's underneath the tractor. Once that paint dries, and, and this here, this finish is no grinding. I didn't grind anything. You, uh, you saw the, the video here. There's, that's how that splatter is still there. I didn't grind anything away. So there's really, really no bubble gum welding there. That's going to be a good repair. So now I can at least get this deck back on the tractor. So it's a complete tractor again. So with this repair completed, this deck is going to be ready to go back on the tractor. Tractor is going to be all one piece again. I can move it around. Um, this does possibly have a new home it's going to. So, you know, if this kind of video helps you out, or you think it might help you in the future, please like and subscribe. And uh, I can keep making videos like this. It's not a high-tech repair, but it definitely needs to be done, and it's not all that hard to do.